So this question tells us that during a physics experiment, Sally held down a weight attached to a spring and then released the weight. The height of the weight, I should say weight, above the table is shown in the following table. Here we go. And now we've got some questions about it. But the first one here is asking us to create a, a sinusoidal uh, regression equation. So the first thing we're going to do here is go to the calculator and enter in all of that information here. Now, before we do that, recognize that when we go to the calculator uh, to create a sinusoidal model, particularly with a word problem, we need to make sure we're in the right mode. And we are. We're in the radian mode. We want to be in radians, okay? It's an easier one to work with. Now, to enter the data in, we press STAT, EDIT, and that takes us to the lists. And so we're going to put the time, okay, you can see, there you go, you can see the list, everything here. We're going to put the time in list one, and we're going to put the height in list two here. So here we go, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3.5, and finally 4. There's my times, and now my heights are 5, 11, 17, 11, 5, 11, 17, 11, 5. Okay, good. Now, everything's in. I'm just going to double check that everything looks right here. It's going up by 0.5 all the way down there, and then we got 5, 11, 17, 11, 5. Okay, yeah, looks good. Okay, now, determine the sinusoidal regression. So, first of all, we're going to quit, go back to the home screen, and we'll start again. Stat. And we want to go over to the calc menu, because this is where all the regressions are held. And then we'll go down, 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 down. And there we go, our sinusoidal regression. I want to make sure that list one and list two are being chosen here. I'll go down to calculate, press enter, and there we go. And so now, my equation is going to be 6 sine of 3.14, okay, x minus 1.57 plus 11. So here we go. So my equation is y equals 6 sine of 3.14 x minus 1.57 plus 11. Okay, there we go. Now the question says determine the height of the weight after 0.75 seconds. Okay, I think the easiest way to answer questions like this is to go to your graph right here. We're going to drop that that equation in here. Now, I just wrote it out on the piece of paper, but the calculator remembers the work that I did. Okay, it stores that information in a variable. So I'm going to press the VARS button right here. VARS. It's going to open up a menu that looks like this. Now, the work that I just did was statistical. So I'm going to go down to statistics. And if you look at the top here, EQ, it's the regression equation that I want. So I'm going to go over to EQ, and the very first option you get is reg eq. Okay, that's the regression equation. So when I started pressing the menus, my cursor was sitting in the y equals screen. So when I press enter now, it's going to grab this equation and drop it there. Press enter, and there you go. And it the graph, the calculator puts it there to as much accuracy as possible. So that's about as good as I'm going to get it here. Now, before I press graph here, I'm just going to take a quick look here at, uh, and change my window settings. Now, notice this goes from 0 out to 4. So I'm going to let my graph go from 0 to 4. And then my vertically, 5 seems to be the minimum. 17 seems to be the maximum. So I'm going to make, I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway here. I'm going to go 2 up to, well, if the maximum was 17. I've got a max of 20 in there right now. I'm just going to leave it like that. Press graph. And here we go. Excellent. Now the question B was asking, determine the height of the weight after 0.75 seconds. Okay. So now if I press second trace to get into the calc menu, the very first option I have is called value. And if you press enter there, it's waiting for the x value. Now they told us the x value here is 0.75. So let's enter that in. 0.75. Press enter shows us where the point goes on the graph, and I'm told here that it's 15.24. Okay, and so the height here is going to be 15.24, and I'm assuming at this point here centimeters, or inches, sorry, it's inches. Okay, inches. 
Now, the next one says, determine the time at which the weight will first reach a height of 13 inches. Okay, well, you know what? This is one of, uh, one of the reasons why I, I really put this into the equation. The first, sorry, the question B there, I could have very easily just just enter the equation and put the, the 0.75 in there for the, the x value. But it's a lot harder to do it this way where they give you the y value. You really do want to go to a graph here. So to, to figure out what the x value is when y is 13, I go back into y equals and I make another one of those y's equal to 13. Press graph, there's the y equals 13. I'm looking for the x value right here at this point where this graph first hits that 13 mark. So second trace, I'm going to look for the intersection. I'm going to move that cursor close to that point of intersection. It's asking me, am I on the first curve? Press enter for yes. Did it jump to the second curve? Yes, it did. And is it okay to guess that? Well, I don't know quite yet. Honestly, until I press enter and look at where that goes, I don't know if that's a good guess. Press enter. Okay, that was a good guess because it jumped right to that point there. And the x value here is, to the nearest hundredth is 0 0.61. So 0 0.61 uh, seconds, I'm assuming here, is the answer we're looking for.